Hi handsome and welcome to my 31st video. Do you like underwater gathering? Yeah, me neither. Have you ever thought, what if we could do underwater gathering without the underwater part? That's a little bit weird of a question, but I'm glad you asked anyway, because I am here with an answer. So let's see if we can do underwater gathering without going underwater. And for those of you who have only a raft to their name, or maybe a Bartali sailboat, let's see if we can do it without a ship as well. Before we begin, you may have noticed that we got a facelift on the channel, so let me thank my extremely handsome viewer Lena and Lake for this absolutely amazing piece of fan art. It's the first ever fan art that I got, and I think we can all agree that Mr. Lena knocked it out of the park. So once again, thank you so much handsome. You really made me extremely happy. One more thing that I briefly mentioned is something that I always say at the end of the videos, but I thought that today we might experiment as well. So I'm gonna say that at the start, and it's the fact that only about 11% of you are subscribed. So if you like this video, if you like my type of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button, you know, all that stuff, all that YouTuber jazz. So thank you. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Underwater gathering is home to several ingredients that are used in cooking and sailing, and it's also the best gathering EXP per hour. Now, I will tell you straight up that what I'm going to be showing in this video is probably not going to be the best gathering EXP per hour, probably not even close to it, because that's mostly tied to a specific gatherable item that we will talk about later on, but let's just say that it's not exactly easy if you want to do it under this type of challenge. I will also not mention any of the items that don't really have a use, so don't expect me talking about shellfish or turban shells or seaweed or anything like that. With those disclaimers done, let's start with the easiest underwater gathering item to find and something that I would say is actually better to gather above water than under it. I'm talking about oysters. Here you have multiple choices, but I'm mostly going to be talking about two of them. And they are both in the land of the morning light. The first one is on this beach right next to Nampos Moodle village. And this one is the better one of the two. I would even say that it's probably the best oyster rotation in the entire game, not just within this challenge, but overall, which is why I'm showing it first. It's close to the Magnus well in Nampo, which means you don't have to travel that far and you can just get there on foot or even on a horse. And it has probably the best amount of oysters to find in a single place, which means that you don't have to swap servers as much as those other places. The other rotation is much farther away from the Magnus, it's actually all the way in the southeast of Nopsays Biots County, uh, on this beach. Now, the biggest benefit of this rotation is that it's closest to the other one, but otherwise it's not really that great. It still has a decent amount of oysters, but combined with the travel time and combined with the fact that the other rotation exists, outside of just combining the two together, if you really don't like swapping servers, I don't see that much of a reason to go out of your way to go here. There is one more oyster rotation that is worth mentioning and it's above water completely, but it is much harder to get to if you want to not use ships. In case you're wondering, it's on the island where Proti Cave is and we will talk about Proti Cave in the future, okay? Foreshadowing. You can cheat a bit and use the tier 10 DNA to get here, but the two Land of the Morning Light locations are better anyway if all you want is just oysters. Alright, let's cheat a little bit again. I will tackle all of these items at once now, because they all spawn from the same handful of gatherable items with some small exceptions. I'm talking about coral pieces, corals of different colors, and lobsters. Coral pieces you can get from the dead corals in Okila's eye, which you can just easily walk to on the beach. Okila itself is not really that easy to get to without a ship right now, but as of writing this, it's going to be like 3 days until we get a Magnus well here, so if you are watching this from the future, you will have absolutely no problems getting this one. That being said, that coral is not really that great. You can't get lobsters at all, and the only color of a coral that you can get is the white one. But I did mention more cheating. So, here it is. We need to get to Sikraya underwater ruins. Obviously, we could get someone to just compass us there, or if we have the telescope, we can use that as well. But let's try this without friends or good Samaritans. It's actually not that hard. 
all you need to do is go to this end of Ilya Island, where you can get with a griffin ride. You talk to this guy here, who will give you a swimming speed buff for 20 energy, and then you just swim towards the Kraya, and once you see dots appear on your minimap, you can escape escape, and there you go, you're inside the Kraya underwater ruins. Now, is this technically underwater gathering, since we are in the underwater ruins? I will let you be the judge of that. I'm just happy that I can gather without worrying about breath and swimming speed, which means that you can also do this without the shark suit, which is another point of this video to show you places where you can get to completely free to play. Roti Cave also works for the same reason. It's basically the same as Sikraya in terms of drops. I would say that it even has a little bit more corals and sea fans to gather than Sikraya itself and it's definitely easier to get to, especially if you have a ship or a tier 10 Dine. So if you want to look at this video as more of a can I underwater gather without a shark suit or completely free to play, then obviously here are your best options to do so. Now, is this your magical spot that is as good as the most popular spots in terms of money and EXP? I would say no. But it definitely has a large enough advantage in the form of not having to worry about being underwater to offset that in my opinion. With Sikraya and Protecave out of the way, we have one more spot that is arguably even better. This spot has it all. And the best thing about it is that it's good even outside of this stupid challenge. It is very beginner friendly, it has basically all you need as an underwater gatherer and you don't even need a shark suit since the waters here are extremely shallow. I am of course talking about Papua Grinea? Papu Grini? Papua Grinehameha? However you're meant to pronounce this. Uh, but let's not worry about the naming convention of this island. Like I said, it is great. Even without going underwater, we can still get sea anemone for shrimps, we can get pink anemone for crawfish, and even rounded purple coral for a chance to get the coral crystal needed for deep sea perfume. Oh, and it also has a lot of spotted corals and trumpet corals that give you iridescent coral pieces you need for your Karak daily quest in Okila's Eye. The hardest part about this is getting here without the ship, but you can just swim from this coast in Kamasylvia and get there just before hitting zero stamina. And that is it, right? Well, not really. There is one more gatherer item that I still have not talked about, although I have foreshadowed it. The one you are all thinking of. The giant pearl oyster. Now, when it comes to the items from the oyster, there are only basically two things that we cannot get otherwise. Shrimp we get from the anemone, lobsters we get from any corals, but the pearl oyster flesh itself and the golden pearls that you can get when you process are tied to the giant pearl oyster itself and you cannot get it anywhere else. Now, if you are expecting me to reveal this long forgotten spot where you can actually go to yourself without any problems, without a ship, where you don't even have to go underwater or anything like that, and nobody told you about this one before because life scholars just like to keep their secrets, I guess, I'm sorry to disappoint you. But let's find out if there are at least some climbs that you can go to without going underwater. At first, I really thought that it would be this climb in Velia, but it turns out that it is just far down enough for you to not be able to reach it from the surface, so you need to press Q and dive at least a little bit. And that was my best bet. With that gone, I had no clue, but I did try to do some research and I did find one giant pearl climb that you can get from the surface. Yeah, one. <laughs> it's on the beach of Starsand, where you will also find some oysters if you still want more of them, and that's the only other redeeming factor outside of just this dumb challenge. This is all you got. I am really sorry. So there you have it. Can you do underwater gathering without a ship and without going underwater? Yes, you absolutely can. Now, perhaps the better question is, should you do this yourself? The Land of the Morning Light Oysters, I would say you absolutely should. And when it comes to the other parts, 
I mean, you don't need me to tell you that you should get a ship unless you have a, like a tier 10 DNA, you probably should get one. You don't want to be swimming to these places in the first place. It's really not that fun. Trust me, even on a Corsair, it's not that fun. Also, if you are looking for the best gathering EXP per hour or you simply need the giant pearl clamps for whatever other reason, I am pretty sure that you already know that the answer is no. Since nobody should ever swap servers in front of a single clam and a handful of oysters, okay? <laughs> But if you are watching this as a free to play player who doesn't have the shark suit and doesn't want to buy one, or someone who just doesn't like underwater gathering in general because of how funky it feels to do, and you just want your lobsters and corals and you don't care about the pearls, then I would go as far as to say that these spots are better than most, if not actually all, other spots that are actually underwater. Except for the Oculus Eye, okay? That one is not very good, so don't go that to that one, go to the other three. Sikraya is Pretty good, Proti Cave I would say is amazing and Papu Krini is probably the first best underwater gathering spot following the two most popular pearl oyster ones and it even has the iridescent corals and coral crystals which those two spots don't have so you have more of an incentive to go there if you want these specific items as well. So yes, you absolutely should go to these spots, just not on EU when I am online please, okay? Have some decency. And that is it, handsome. I hope you liked the video. It was once again something a little different, so I hope you found it interesting and maybe a little funny. Remember to like and subscribe, tell me if I should do some other stupid challenge like this, and enjoy your grind.